literally in my first sales conversation, I got to see parts of myself that as an experienced meditator and meditation teacher, I had never seen before. I've had a close personal relationship with God for a long time. God is a, a big word for me in my own spiritual life. Whatever word resonates with you is fine. Source, universe, Krishna, Ganesh, Christ, however you relate to that concept will work for the teaching. What I realized and continue to realize is that the places where I feel responsible for getting the job done, for muscling to get the result, the places where I contract because I'm afraid I can't, because I doubt myself, because I am reaching for something that I haven't experienced before and I'm nervous, anxious that it can't happen. All of those places are real estate that belongs to God. It is not meant for me. But when I try to own it, the feeling that I have is one of contraction, one of contrast, one of struggle, anxiety, fear, frustration, gripping. And so part of the value of this practice is that there's, there is no one that I've talked to that doesn't experience this. This is a universal. When people begin to practice sales, they experience anxiety, fear of rejection, concern about meeting a particular financial result, this gripping of responsibility to make it happen, make it happen right now. And so it's just a beautiful window into where there's more room for the divine. Because all of those places where they're little and where they're huge, they're all immediately, when we feel those moments of contrast, it's an invitation to offer it to the divine, to give it back. You know what? This is feeling all funky inside because I'm trying to make it all about me. It is not all about me. It is about this energy that's flowing through me but that's very little about me actually. When we're doing sales, really sales as service, at the highest level, we're getting out of the way. It's not about our egos. It's not about us getting what we want. It's not about us meeting our goals. It's about us serving the people in front of us. And how do we serve them best? By letting God through. Of course, sales is a practical, necessary element of any business. Sales is how money moves. There's no other way it happens. There is no business if there are no sales, of course. So there are these pragmatic realities to sales. But for me, those realities have come hand in hand with incredibly confronting truths about myself. Literally in my first sales conversation, I got to see parts of myself that as an experienced meditator and meditation teacher, I had never seen before. It was like getting a mirror on a part of my body that I didn't even know existed. And it was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable to see something new and I didn't like what I saw. <laughs> Having the support of my coach was really necessary for me to actually keep my eyes open and move through that discomfort. And on the other side, what I experienced was the deepest liberation of my life at that time. And again, speaking as someone who had been on pilgrimage to India and had the most ecstatic, blissful spiritual awakenings, like I'm, I'm, I am comparing sales to that. I am comparing the transformational power of the spiritual practice of sales to the most spiritual practices that exist in this world. Not everyone approaches sales that way, but my suggestion to you is that the things that come up for you, whether it's your fear of rejection, your codependent desire for people to like you, your need to get what you want, even if it means maybe sacrificing your integrity in some way. These things, sales does a better job than any other practice of bringing those things up, of showing us where those little pockets of unconsciousness hang out. 
because we all have them. Like, let's just be honest. All people, no matter how spiritual they are, have these little pockets of unconsciousness, sometimes big. When you choose to have a business and do your own sales, you are saying yes to seeing all of that. And it's a powerful initiation and I highly recommend it.